All right, next up we have a seasoned uh, writer and performer on the stage who blows us away every time with the, the eloquence and the depth of his words. He's also been filming the past two slams and been, it's just been so unbelievably helpful to me. So I'm so grateful that he is here and he could be part of this. So please give a huge round of applause to Bob McKenzie. <laughs> Good to you? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I won't move it then. Um, I wasn't feeling that great the last few days, so I just went through and grabbed a couple of things I haven't read in a while. They're, they're related, they were written around the same time about the same thing. So let's see how this goes. This is called Stigmata. <clears throat> My eyes fill with your tears and I weep in silence as your tears flow crimson down your arms to the floor and my heart bleeds for you. I am afraid and angry, but only my calm shows. A mask like the crimson you hide your wounds behind, so you see no anger. I fear for you. I rage with anger at all those who make the deeper wounds you must reveal with pets far deeper than you now show. Like your wounds, my anger runs deep and powerful, and my tears, too, flow red into the dark of life and down my face and arms. If my pain does not show, does not bleed out as yours, and it's still pain I feel for you and hurts as much when I see you bleeding, what can I do but watch as you relive the fear I cannot understand, as you weep red and deep, and I still and I fill with your blood? I would seal up the cuts, stop the flow of crimson, and give you back your life. But this is not my role. I can only love you. I can only love you, only stand and hold you until the pain is gone, until it comes again and fills me with your pain. And this is the waning of the moon. The full moon bleeds into the night, soaking the clouds and trees and earth with its essence until the pain has reached into the morning light. Somewhere in darkness, you stand still, bleeding your soul into the night against the fear you hold within, out of time and against your will. You shine against the blackest fears as darkness falls away from you, and you fall away from memory to find brief peace as morning nears. There's no feeling here but calm that seeks the gentle blade's caress, draining the darkness from your soul as softly as a soothing balm. And then you wash and go to bed, now at peace, if not forever, with yourself and all memory, shrouded now in a cloak of red. The full moon bleeds into the night, but morning wipes its death from sight, and you live on with all your past, come back to you with morning's light.